Um, so Castleman disease is this group of disorders. Um, they're very heterogeneous upon presentation. Uh, there's at least uh, three, uh, two types. There's one called unicentric that has uh, lymphoproliferation in just one lymph node of your body, and also the multicentric type. Uh, for the multicentric type, there's one that is driven by human herpes virus 8, um, and there's another one that's so idiopathic that we really do not know why it arises. And unfortunately, this is the one that's the hardest to diagnose and the hardest to treat, um, and it's in part because we really don't understand what's causing it. So I'm here on behalf of the Pro Professor Falkenbaum's lab to present uh, our work on idiopathic multicentric Castleman disease, uh, short IMCD. And we're investigating uh, the mTOR pathway, which is a pathway involved in inflammation and in um, diseases with uh, exaggerated autoimmune responses. And we were able to study this pathway on many Castleman patients for the first time. Since it's a rare disease, in the past, all our data really came from case reports or case series. But thanks to uh, Professor Fagenbaum's lab in the last uh, eight years, we're able now to have a lot of samples and a lot of information. And we have studied uh, if mTOR is activated in the lymph node of these patients, and we found that it really is for idiopathic uh, multicentric Castleman disease. And this is really important because we're launching a clinical trial that is specific to mTOR inhibition, a drug that targets its pathway. Um, and we're, we know that it's worked in three patients before, but it was not a systematic study. So now we have this intermediate step where we look at a lot of lymph node tissue, we show that it is hyperactivated, and hopefully the clinical trial will show that it does work and improve the uh, symptoms of the patients.